Today I want to show you how I've been experimenting with the vMix Live production software in conjunction with my Blackmagic ATEM switcher setup. I've been using the Blackmagic ATEM 1ME 4K switcher for some years now for covering live multi-camera events but one of the things I haven't been able to do very easily is manage and play out multiple video files or add captions and graphics into my live mix. I have a small media player box which can play files off of a USB stick, but it's very limited and has some annoying little quirks that make it very difficult to use it in a professional capacity. So a few months ago, I decided to look for some video playout hardware or software that was easy to set up and use out in the field. I tried a number of media playout software solutions, but I have to say, having tried vMix, I quickly came to see how useful this could be if I didn't use it primarily for capturing and switching. If you're not familiar with vMix, it's a software-based live video production solution with everything you need to run a full live TV production encoding multiple audio and video inputs, switching, graphics, green screen keying, recording, playout and streaming all in one package. It can be purchased with various levels of capability from simple standard definition setup right up to 4K with over a thousand inputs including eight live video calls coming into the switcher. But of course that does need a pretty powerful computer to drive it all. The main reason I use the ATEM switcher is that I feel very uncomfortable relying on a PC based system for live switching. We all know how computers suddenly decide they have something far more important to do just when you need them and hang up, grind to a crawl or even provide you with a lovely blue screen to key off of. That said, I've been extremely impressed with the vMix software that I've been trialling but realistically at the moment I don't really have the budget to build a suitably robust and fast PC to run the software on with enough confidence that it can take care of capturing the multiple inputs, switching, recording, streaming and play out all at once without hitting some kind of bottleneck. Once I saw the power of the vMix titling software though, I realised that it could provide me with a useful way to add live captions into my ATEM setup. As far as I'm aware, I don't believe you can send an alpha channel across HDMI, but chatting the idea through with YouTube streamer Photo Joseph, we realised that the ATEM would be quite capable of keying the background out and giving you a nice upstream key titling option. So this is how I've gone about it. Here I'm in vMix and I've loaded some video files for playout and set up some lower third captions. I also then realised that I could bring in another camera into vMix, set even at a different resolution than the main ATEM configuration, something that could normally only be done with a scaler. But in this case, vMix is taking care of the scaling internally, outputting everything at 1080-50i in this case. So I'm working from my main PC, which has a Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K capture and output card. I'm taking the HDMI output from the Blackmagic card into the ATEM switcher. On the ATEM, I have my PX270 set up on input number two and the vMix output coming in on HDMI input number one. This is fed directly into the upstream keyer and the keyer is then used to key out the green background from within the Blackmagic control panel software. In this case, I'm using a hardware switching panel to do the vision mixing. This allows me to bring up the Kia, overlaying the lower third from vMix, but even better is that I can actually edit that live in real time from the computer. This could also be used for tickers and banners or other graphics. So now, very simply, I can load up and play out video files or a playlist of videos add captions and graphics and even switch in another source that isn't the same resolution as my main ATEM configuration and let vMix do the scaling. 
I think this will give me a lot of flexibility for a reasonable cost and allow me to upgrade my portable computer hardware and the vMix software as I go. Even building that up to a point where I could use vMix to do the switching and streaming should there be a problem with the hardware switcher. So I hope you found this interesting and maybe it will give you a few ideas of your own as to how you might be able to use something like this yourself. And if it does, I'd love to hear about them. That's it from me. If you found this useful, please do click on the like button and drop me a comment below with your ideas as to how you might be able to use this type of setup. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Roll the credits.